dear Sky Squad, welcome back beautiful people. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be re reviewing one of you guys' locks. Um, I asked you guys in my last video, should I review some of you guys' locks? And this idea was actually given to me by L. Smith 1919 I'm just gonna call him Lonnie in the video. He's like, yo, like you should review your subscribers' locks. And I think I was hesitant at first because I'm not a loctician. I'm not always, um, have hands-on experience in other people's hair or locks, but I am still gonna give my opinion. So, if you want me to review your locks and make a video on it, just send me um, a DM on Instagram. Even if you don't want a video, you just want my personal opinion on it um, and keep it private, you can still send me a DM as well. Um, I looked through some of his pictures, he sent me a video, and uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. So, okay, so Lonnie, and I will be including the pictures and the videos um, he submitted to me in this clip, so stay tuned. I hope I hope you're retwisting your hair, or you doing your moisture routine, or you eating something, you know, let's, let's just pretend like we're hanging out right now. I'm oiling my hair with holy hemp oil, you guys know this is my favorite. And I'm also mixing a little bit of champagne popping. Um, basically, I just put holy hemp oil all over my hair. My hair is still damp. It's like drying out fast, kind of. I don't even know what's happening. Um, it's still it's still damp. But yeah, I put holy hemp oil basically all over my head, and then I'm just topping it off with some champagne popping. Okay, so let me see if I can multitask. We'll see, child. I don't know. Okay, so this is Lonnie, and he actually has had a set of locks before. Um, I think he had. He said he had a set of locks in 2014, 2015. Um, but the locks that we're going to be looking at today actually started in 2017. Um, it looks like he um, actually started with the comb coil method, and he went to a loctician, and he's been going to a loctician ever since. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I feel like if you find someone you can trust that um, is knowledgeable, like, why not go to them, you know? So, um, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I went to, gosh, I went to a loctician to start my locks, and I kept going to her uh, for the first couple of months. And I'm really glad that I found someone that was knowledgeable that I could trust because I felt like, I feel like my locks had a really good start, and I got to... Um, miss a lot of mistakes. I still made mistakes in the beginning, but I got to skip over them because I had so much guidance firsthand. You know, um, people on YouTube, they all gonna document their own experience and their own journeys and what they think is right, but it's not one size fits all when it comes to these, to these locks. So, and his locks look so good. Like I said, he started out with the comb coils um, and he says he usually gets them retwisted every month. This time though, um, he's stretching it out, it seems like. Yeah, so he usually retwists every month. And so this time it will be three months and he's gonna retwist, um, I think in the beginning of April. Um, and like I said, he goes to the loctician to get that done. I really like, I really like how like full his locks are like bro like it's like soft curl and like full you know what I mean um I can't really see if I'm not mistaken like I can't really see like up close details of like the budding structure and like um like I wish I could just touch his locks <laughs> and feel them but I feel like his loctician is going with the approach of like yes like we're gonna help like basically train your hair in the way it should go, but we're not going to um, constrain its growth. Like, cause he, she could she could really like palm roll them super, super down, um, but she's kind of like letting them be free. So it's kind of like they're tamed, but they're not being totally constricted. Okay, so yeah, so I like that. I like how fluffy and full they are. Even when they're retwisted, they don't look, um, they still look pretty full. And that's probably like my favorite thing about his locks is how full 
and fluffy they are and full of life. Um, sometimes when I got retwist, it just looks scalpy, especially in the beginning. It was really, I didn't like that. Um, now that my hair is fully locked and I've went through the locking process and I have more length, I actually don't mind the manicured look and I don't mind when it's not. Um, I don't mind it either way. So he has had braids, he really likes lock styles, and he has braids. Um, you can also do barrel twists and things like that. Um, but he really likes a two strand twist out, and he hasn't done that yet. And that's actually what I'm doing to my head right now. And um, he said he liked the crinkle look. And I like the two strand twist because you get a two for one um, like lock style. The only thing I don't like though is um, after the crinkles, after it's crinkled, right? It could kind of look, and it, it's like wavy, right? It could kind of look, I don't know, when it's kind of close to hair wash time, it on my head, it just looks dingy to me. Okay, y'all, let's, let's talk about the products he used because I feel like this was a very good segue to what I also want to talk about in this video as well. So I think with these lock reviews, I think I'm going to review the locks and kind of chit chat along the way and also have like a topic to talk on. So, so these are the two products that he actually uses. The first one is the African Pride Olive Miracle Growth Oil. Um, I haven't tried this oil personally, um, but I, just a quick, quick, quick glance on YouTube. Um, I feel like a lot of people actually likes this oil very much. And then the other one he used is the Jamaican Mango Lime. I think it's the No Itch Spray. Okay, so he even talked about it. He's like, you know, I know, you know, people have controversy on this oil. And this lock, okay. Like there's controversy around this brand. Um, you would see people basically say like, no, don't use it. You're gonna have buildup and blah, blah, blah. And even, I think Louisiana Animal, um, he uses their products. And he's he's been locked for years and he hasn't seen any issues whatsoever with that and as far as I know and here's a good thing to point out look like I said this journey is not one size fits all so if you find something that works for you even if like the whole lock community is like against it like just go ahead and use it you know um, I have transitioned, like around my 10 months, I transitioned to a more like as natural as possible regimen and that works for me, but that doesn't mean just because it's not 100% natural or if it has preservatives, that doesn't mean it's horrible. I just kind of want people to be aware of what they're using and the effects that it has. Um, and I still have to grow in that way, but, it, but that does not mean just because it's natural, it's good for you. Um, like honey, for instance. So in some instances, like some African black soaps actually have honey in it and I don't have a problem with that. Um, I haven't had any issues with that in my hair. But like if I actually just took raw honey and put it directly on my head and retwist it with it, to me it wouldn't work because it's so sticky, it would attach to everything and I feel like it would be smothering my hair, if that makes sense, you know? Well, yes, it has antibacterial properties and things like that. So just because it's natural doesn't mean it's 100% perfect for the situation um but i like how he's like yo like i have no problems it's helped with my dandruff he used to have dandruff before he had locks he battled with that a lot and since he's been using those two products he hasn't had any issue and his hair looks really healthy to me his locks look really full really healthy um, i'm kind of jealous of the thickness a little bit can't even lie about that um but yeah i i really like his locks and i think you know just he's proof like if you find something that works you should stick with it um let's see okay and so then i also asked him um he said i started watching your channel back in 2015 and i liked it because of your personality and your energy and the way that you explain your videos and the most important thing to me at that time what styles and your two strand twist stout video i loved it I still watch it and I like just how your curls just like I want mine to be and um, I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um, I feel like we've kind of grown like even though I'm not posting as much as I did in the beginning I feel like we have consistently grown 
Um, you guys have seen my whole lock journey. If you haven't, it is on the YouTube. It is on the lock journey playlist. You basically went through this journey with me. You can see it from the beginning, through my mistakes, everything to when I took over to now, you you see it. This is not a gimmick. I'm not making no tales. This is, this is my journey. You guys got to come along with me. And I appreciate you guys that do subscribe to me. And um, it just means a lot. The main thing I'm focused on now, I'm still not really that focused on it right now. Because, like, I'm only going to do it on, like, certain, like, maybe, like, certain times. And, like, probably, like, around, like, the holidays or and, like, things like that. Like, but, like, other than that, like, I can wear my hair like this all day. And I can just have a retwist. But, like, styles. That's what I want to talk about, um, styles. I love styles. Styles, to me, is real, um... I love I love the styles. Basically, I like the um the crinkly effect, especially in two strand twists. I know I had a braid out um a couple months ago. I did have braids, um as you can see from the pictures, but I did have braids. And um like I like the braids, but um me I know I was looking at uh Sky where she will be getting this. Um I was looking at her um videos of like I like the two strand twist out. I love the two strands so style, especially uh, one one person that like I would say that like really does it for me is her, and like I know it's a couple of people in the hip hop industry. Like I love how um, I love how off I love how Offset from the Mingos um, do his um, two strand twist out. I love how it looks. I love I just love everything about the two strand twist out more than the braids, and it gives you like even though. The braids, I like them, but, like, um, I'd rather go for the two-strand twist out. But um, other than that, like, I feel um, my hair and me, uh, um, me, I just feel comfortable. I love it. I know um, a lot of people in my family didn't really agree on to it, but I like it. And I'm learning to live with it. Sometimes it gives me trouble with the itching and stuff like that, but I figured I figured all that out. And um, once again, I'll show you a 360 of my hair, how it looks. Here's the front of it. Here's the front. Um, yes, here's the front of it. Here's the side, the side view of it, if you can see that. Um, Lonnie, I think you're on the right track. You know, I feel like you have an electrician keeping monitor on your hair. Um, I feel like your hair looks full, it looks healthy, it just looks full of life. Like, that's that's the number one thing I can say. So, um, yeah, I really like your locks, and thank you for sharing them with me. And make sure you keep me updated. Please. <laughs> so, yeah, so I can't really multitask. I've done, like, a total of three, four twists, and I'm, like, not doing it in the order I usually do it. And I keep forgetting I have an odd number of locks, so one of these twists is going to have three. So, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'm a, I, I kind of like to ramble, but I don't want to ramble too long because sometimes when I click on a video, I'm like, no, no, no. I clicked on this video because I wanted to see what the title was about. I didn't need you to go over here, over here and ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, sometimes I'm like that and sometimes I like 30 minute long videos of just nonstop talking. But yeah, so I decided to keep this short and sweet and especially since I added some clips from him. Um, I wanted time for that. So yes, if you want me to review your locks, you already know what to do. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. And until next time, peace.